Let's just go back to the way it was. Honeymoon, honeymoon, Avenue. Honeymoon, honeymoon, Avenue. My baby, coasting like crazy. Can we get back to the way it was? Oh my god, it's lit. Oh my god, they're so cute together, look. Oh, they're going on to present. They're all looking so good. I cannot. There's my babe. Okay, this is going to be so long, but it's like the first time I've seen them properly. Oh, Camila's going over a line. Oh, bye then. Bye. I was in the group for about five years, um, and I think that the time just felt right. I just felt it, um, you know, when you just have that gut feeling inside yourself, um, that it was time to do something risky, different. Risky, yeah. Risky. Yeah, definitely. It's always scary when you're doing something for the first time. Mm -hmm. um, I think it must be strange the first time you perform on your own because you know lots of people that have been in bands yeah. say you you're used to your kind of bandmates around you and suddenly that first performance on your own you feel more responsibility. Yeah, I mean, I performed with I had done a song with um, my friend Sean Mendes and also with MGK before but it was still there was more than just me on stage. But the first time that it was like just me was billboards which i was ser i was shaking in my boots not gonna lie it was yeah, yeah it was pretty nerve-wracking and then yesterday i did britain's got talent which was myself myself and we're going back only what four years or so ago Five, for, yeah. for x factor in, in america yeah I and mean, you were you were the one who was being judged i know i was 15 and a little baby <laughs> but yeah it was crazy 
actually, I, I went on Twitter last night after my performance, and um, you know, there was like a comparison between when I was 15 years old and I had audition, and Simon Cowell was there clapping to last night when I did it, and he, it was it he was, was just still cool. clapping. Yeah, it was just cool to see the the transition. Um, but yeah. I feel like I. Because he was your mentor, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. So do, yeah. You, do you keep in touch with him? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. But it was cool to, you know, see that yeah. kind of turn around, full circle. Moment. So the single is "Crying in the Club." Yes. That we saw you last night. There's an album to come later in the year. Yes. So this is all your work. It's yes. This, this is you from your heart. Yeah. What's it all about? The album. So the album is called "The Hurting, The Healing, The Loving." Um, I said that really fast. The hurting, the healing, the loving. <laughs> it's quite profound. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's basically about. Um, the past couple years that I had experienced kind of I just went through like a low point emotionally and through this writing process and through making this album I feel like I was able to reconnect with myself and find myself again because I really I started writing when I was on tour um, with the band I would just write in like hotel bathrooms and it was always just to kind of hear my own thoughts and to just kind of express whatever I was feeling at the time and I felt like with this album, I feel like I went back to that 16-year-old girl that was just doing it to... Just cathartic. Exactly. Kind of well, you, you talk there about crying, you talk about healing, you talk about pain, and there's been so much of that in this country oh my God, over, yeah. over the last week. And you know Ariana, don't, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I, I spoke to her after that happened. I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine. Oh, How was just... she when you spoke to her? Um, you know, obviously shaken up there's no way to I mean what can you say even well, to what she's saying now which is great that she's going back to Manchester which in itself oh must be to confront that and face that and those families all those those families amazing people who were there that night and they're going to come along to this new concert on on Sunday and it's a lot of people are facing up to their pain they're hurting mm -hmm. they're crying mm -hmm. and most of all that word that you used your healing absolutely yeah we were just talking about it in the car um, about that concert and I feel like you know it's it's horrible that it's that it takes that for you know sometimes for people to come together like that um, but I'm super proud of her and mm. I think that you know coming back to Manchester especially with everybody yeah um, but I think it, it says a lot to the people of Manchester and as you said in, with your music you know music can be a healing thing Absolutely. as well and, and I think you know they've had so much pain and they'll be there obviously to remember the victims of that awful day but 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 to have some fun as well a lot of th those young people um so what is next for you so you've got the album coming yeah so is there a tour are you going around um, the world so the album is hopefully coming in um september and i'm just going to keep writing my plan is just to write as much as possible as often as i can to just constantly be putting music out um so yeah right now i'm just kind of um promoting these two songs and hopefully soon I'm going to put out another one, another one until the album. There's a lot of September. songs in you all waiting to come out. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm excited. The people in your industry, are they supportive, are they helpful, or are they separate, or are you deemed as competition to them? I mean, you know, established big names, do they pass on tips, or does everyone keep oh, themselves? Oh, no, there something? are absolutely people that are super supportive. Ariana is one person that has always been so supportive of me since the beginning, and, um, you know, when my first songs came out she was she facetimed me and was like congratulations i'm so proud of you you know they're definitely really really supportive and Ed Sheeran, no? you've yeah. got to know quite well yeah um i was i seriously am ed sheeran's biggest fan <laughs> um and he knows that and so basically you cried i think when you met him didn't yeah you? i did <laughs> um not sure if he knows that but, uh, <laughs> yeah so i basically when we came out of X Factor, we did this series of um, like covers, and yeah. so basically each girl would pick a cover that represented her yeah. and whatever her musical influences were. And so I chose Lego House by Ed Sheeran, and yeah. so he replied to it and tweeted like incredible, whatever, whatever. And you know, I've always gone to his concerts, and we've basically became friends along the way. And um, he's also somebody that was super supportive um, when I went out and did my thing. And he was like, how's the album going? And um, he sent me a song that he wrote with me in mind. Oh, well, that's lovely, wow. because there's a beauty to what he does, isn't there? Oh, my God. Yeah. And he's got an incredible story, hasn't he? Yeah. Where we started. And... Yeah, and you go, Will you record that song, do you think? Yeah, or? so I did. I basically, I rewrote some lyrics and I um, recorded it so hopefully I love that. that too. It's good Ed but I've rewritten a few of the no, lyrics. No but you're making oh, it personal. No, he's amazing. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's I mean, <laughs> that's bespoke now to you. Yeah, yeah exactly but he's he's incredible. Oh.